Warning, the person in this video is not an expert. She is nowhere near. Also, the audio is bad. She recorded with the fan on. I mean, <laughs> who does that, right? Total noob. However, if you like thrifting, resale, and maybe a good laugh, you've come to the right place. Hi everyone, my name is Tracy, or Kidlit, and this is Resale Therapy. So I decided that on my second video, instead of doing a haul or doing anything that would take brain power <laughs> to remember prices or anything, um, I would just go over some of the things that I have found in the past couple of weeks that I thought were interesting. I don't know. I'm just going to randomly go through some goodies that I found. How about that? And yeah. So first thing I found, it still has its tag on it for 75 cents is this cute little rabbit and I have yet to find any comps on look at his feet have yet to find one like him he's kind of egg shaped he feels heavy so it makes me think that he's lead crystal but he's not like any that I've seen so I'm still searching Ooh. that would have been bad <laughs> do what I do. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, he's, you know, he's kind of cool. So maybe I'm also posting these so that if you have any input, you can help me out with that. Um, next up that I found, I love these, have since I was a kid, the little Russian doll. She's in her traditional wear. Um, with a yellow bonnet and red dress, and usually I see them with the red bonnet yellow dress, but this is the one I'm used to seeing. Maybe it takes me back to my Sesame Street days. Does that age me, where they would pop open and move around? Um, but she is older, it says made in, the US, made in the USSR, so before 90s, right? I'm so new to this. Yeah, my channel's probably not going to be like everyone else's because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and I, I looked up comps are everywhere. Cheap to expensive. I don't think I have an expensive one, but I only paid... Oh, I took the sticker off. That's smart. I think I paid like a dollar for her. I love the little place I go. They have great prices. This vase, moving on to the next thing, I don't know what to think about this. It's like they crumpled the glass, but first they stuck it in a mold. So maybe it went in something first that had to be that shape. I don't know. I haven't searched around on it yet, but I liked it. Like it's all wavery, and you can feel where they pinched it to pull it. Um, I still gotta look on that one. Let me pull up something. Pull up something. Show you something I did do the search on. Research on found comps and I was so excited. I about fell off my chair. So this, and I'm probably gonna butcher the name, is Chevaux Du Soleil by Gain France? Is that how you say that? Oh, I hate learning over the internet and not hearing a pronunciation. But there's the saucer. And here's the cup, and this is why I got it. This cup. Look at these horses. They are freaking phenomenal. I just. They are so pretty. And here's the back. Is that blurred? I can't tell. Yeah, and then when I looked it up, these go for as from 60 to 80 bucks 
for just yeah and I paid like a buck 25 for this now whether I'm gonna get that or if I'll get if I get 50 I'll be happy right like I, I don't I don't know um now the next thing I'm gonna show you I've had for a while and I finally posted it um and it hasn't sold yet, but there's a lot of problems with it. But when I found it, I had to. Like, I've never, hadn't seen anything like it. And looking up on the internet, I have yet to find one exactly like it. It is a onion bud vase with this, what is it? Crimped? Not crimped. I know some terms. I do. I'm not that dumb. I'm not that new, but I, I'm still horrible. It's like a trumpet, like, um, fluted, no, it looks like that, I'm not an information channel, <laughs> I'm just trying my best, but isn't that neat, it's, br it's solid, it's brass, but there are some issues with it, like this screw is not the original screw, that's a Phillips screw. <laughs> And it doesn't sit, you, you can't tell on my hand, I don't know what I'm doing, but it doesn't sit properly, like it kind of leans to one side, but together, look how pretty that is. I know you can't, my background, I need a new background. My background's so busy, but yeah, I'm doing this, like it's going to help. <laughs> I'm a comedy channel for real sale people. You come on here to laugh at me. <laughs> but... Let me show you. There's there's the seam on here. It's very heavy and bulky compared to the ones I've seen. But there's the roots. And then there's that Phillips screw. I had I had to save it. But someone will love it, right? If not, I guess I will. And for now, it's been living in a little space dedicated just to it. Uh, what else? found this the other day. I was so excited. It's a Jack the Pulpit! Now, I don't think it's Murano or anything, but it does have that clear, polished bottom. And the only one I did find... You ever get something from the store and you're like, what is that smell? And you just wonder what they were doing with it. Anyway, that Pontel Mart, Pontel, 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 is is polished and it's clear but the one I found kind of like this yeah I wasn't selling from Murano prices so if it is I have no clue but I don't think so I don't think so but it's got that ribbed texture but it's rounded but it is encased I know that word and it's got this little pull mark so it's not like perfect and it's got some manufacturer spots so or it's handmade, so what do you expect, right? So it's got imperfections. That that makes me think it's not Murano. It's that right there. You know? You all are laughing at me right now. <laughs> That's okay. So this next one, just so cute. And I've seen similar, but again, none just like it. Uh... You can hear it rattling. It's this little bird. And now I've seen it as ENPS, like a silver alloy from India, like it's a lacquered alloy. But those birds don't look exactly like this. And as you can hear, there's something in it. And I think that's to keep him weighted so he doesn't fall backwards. But he's got really huge feet, and the other ones don't, and he's looking a different direction, so I don't know. And then he's got pitting, if you can see that. Yeah, so I don't know what to think about him. But I have him posted as, as a mixed alloy of some sort. But yeah, that ball in there is so weird. And again not finding one just like him, so I, I don't know. Oh, 
Now this one has damage and I got it because there's a following. There, there's a heavy following for this maker. It's, well, not maker. It's the artist. The Laurel Birch. Hopefully I'm saying that right. For these cats. Now I've done really well with the cats before and this is a little trinket box. Um, but it's chipped. But again, when I see Laurel Birch, I grab it because there's some people that, oh, and it's got a really big boo-boo right there. There's some people that just love Laurel Birch, and I have a a bag, um, a zip up tote bag of the same cats, and I'll probably put them together in a lot for someone to save them, um, because I know some people just really like their Laurel Birch cats. Not big money in that one, but whatever. Next is this little plate. Now, I've seen some plates by this... I'm losing my eyesight. Uh, Kaiser. Kaiser... I can't remember what it says underneath, and it's kind of flow bluey, but it's not flow blue. Um, but it's just... and it was 80 cents. It's just a little decorative plate with a hanger. And I've seen a couple, but not one just like this, so I... I tend to find all the stuff that's either damaged or just, just, just off from the ones that do well. Uh, okay. I hope you're at least getting a laugh at my expense because apparently that's what I'm good for. Now this, I don't know if someone made, well obviously someone made this and there's a signature on the bottom and I think it just says Ally. But, get all the pieces on here. This is a little puzzle. Oh, it would help if I held it up to the camera. Hello! So, I have it backwards. Hold on, I'm trying to get it. My gosh, give me a second. This wood puzzle, you've heard of the, the turn up, the story of the turn up? I don't, I'm gonna have to look up what the name of the actual story is, but, ah! There was a farmer. Story time. There was a farmer and, oh, that's right. Maybe she goes backwards. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut that out. There was a farmer who grew turnips and he couldn't pull it out of the ground. And so he asked his wife to help him and they pulled and they pulled and they couldn't pull it out of the ground. And then they got their kid, and their dog, and their cat, and they couldn't pull it out of the ground. Now, I remember the story, but I don't remember how it ends, and there's usually a moral, and I have no idea what that moral is, so obviously it sat well with me. <laughs> but this puzzle, made out of wood, obviously from that story, because you hear you got your huge turnip and your farmer, and your farmer's wife, who's not helping in the slightest. Look at her. She's like, I am not pulling this turnip. And then you got the daughter who's like, sure, I'll help mom. Let me play with the dog first. And the cat's like, what are we doing? Oh, look, mouse. Further not helping me with what that story was about. But it was 75 cents, and I like wood puzzles, so okay, sure. So next I wanted to show you is this gorgeous, beautiful saddler teapot with the fuchsia flowers and the ornate gold tr uh, trim. And it's in really good condition, but it's not, you know, a high end teapot or anything. But I did have a question for anybody. Does does that count as not a signature, but like an ID number? One of the other ones I saw had it on there too. On Worth Point, and they said it's a signature. I don't think it's a signature, but I don't know. Okay, so the next thing I have. Let me just preface this by saying I'm not on here trying to 
teach people how to resell or you know telling you how to make money or that I'm good at finding things I'm doing this to I don't know because other resellers do it <laughs> I'm here to ask for help more than anything I think and um, I respect the resellers that are on YouTube and I want to be like them when I grow up even though I'm probably older than most of them. I know that's sad. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm not an information channel. I'm just putting it out there that I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. But it, it gives you an idea of things you can look for and I can always do updates. things to look for, things that I'm selling. Why is that moving? You don't want to see that. Uh, things that I look for and try to sell. Um, and that it doesn't always have to be antiques. It doesn't always have to be a certain niche, niche, niche. What do you call it? Niche. You don't have to have a type of thing. You just have to have things that you like. How about that? Uh, I know what I am. I'm a channel that helps resellers laugh. Um, I'm a channel that helps people that are starting to realize, hey, if, if she can do it, I can too. There you go. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, anyway, so the next thing I have are these um, Suzy Zoos by Inesco by Suzy, oh, what is her name? Suzy Gifford, Gifford, Spafford. Susie Spafford, Susie Zoo from the 70s and 80s, and these are 76 to be specific. Um, made in Japan. These little plates, aren't they cute? Is that focusing? I don't even know. With love, that's what it says. And then, they're all love-based. Shower me with love with the little ducky. And wee with the little white ducky. And then the yellow ducky again with I'll share my umbrella. So this is um, Art Hearts Studio by Demdaco. Dem -dem 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 Can't even see that and I don't want to blur it too much. Anyway, this little ornament, not for a tree, but like for a wall or whatever, like almost something I would have in my house. But this one is happy, celebrate, it's like birthday type stuff, but on the back, it's a gold heart with a key spot. Key spot? Keyhole. The word is keyhole. So you can either hang it by its little tassel, or, oh and it's got a little ID hard hearts on it. Or you put the key into the hole and then it sits on your table and looks adorable. And then the name of the artist is on a sticker, Margaret Berg. So I'm going to have to look up Margaret Berg now. But I thought that was so cool. And I paid a buck fifty for it. Okay, that was dumb when they keep that. So the next thing I want to show, um, a sh a sh it's a show and tell. I'm doing show and tell. Yay! It's a resale show and tell. Anyway, I digress. Um, every time I see this line of product, I, I grab it because I've done so well with this line of products. Um, and that is the Pioneer Woman. I only have a couple things that have been sold and that's because they're like one of a set and nobody would buy them unless they're looking for a replacement, which I get. But I might lot those things together. Yeah. Anyway, this I saw sitting on the shelf and I thought it was kind of ugly to be honest, but spoon rest, it's a spoon rest, do relatively okay depending so I picked it up and checked it out just because I wanted to buy anything at this point 
And then I realized it was plastic. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't really like dealing with a lot of plastic stuff. Unless it's really cool. Like this one. Um, again, not the cutest thing from their line, but it definitely is, if I can get it to focus, Pioneer Woman. Yeah, I have such a busy background. I don't know if that helps or not. Yeah, a little bit. Anyway, so the Pioneer Woman line does really well. So I grabbed it. 80 cents, can't go wrong. I looked it up, and there's not many that have been out there for resale. And most of them, all but like one, has sold for like about average of 10 to 12 bucks. So for 80 cents, okay, yes please. Oh, did I just copy? It's hard not to copy some of you guys and what you say because I want you guys so much and then I just what you say just kind of like I had to keep myself from saying sassy test oh, just you ever find yourself in the resale store and going yes please and going no that's 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 somebody else that's not me if you're an avid resale watcher on YouTube here you know exactly the two people I referenced just now okay so the next thing I have um, somebody must have donated their entire frog collection because there was just an onslaught of frogs in the store that day and I only picked them up because sometimes salt and pepper shakers do really well if they're animals so I picked them up and checked out the bottom and I paid two fifty for them and they were otagiri, which means they will do a little better than your average frog salt and pepper shakers. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of them in the market right now. They're kind of <laughs> swamped. <laughs> They're swamped with frogs. Okay. Yeah. That was dumb. <clears throat> but Mr. and Mrs. Froggy will get posted eventually and we'll see how my Utagiri frog gets to. Now this this may be the last thing I subject you guys to. I don't know. I don't know. I have another bag. So <clears throat> this is one of the things I wanted to to do a video for and see if I can get someone's take on this. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so this I passed up a couple of times and it was 80 cents so I figured I'd give it a shot. It is marked mm, I can't, I can't, I'll butcher it. It's, it's a town in Slovakia so obviously not too terribly old in the last 20, 30 years because as you know it used to be Czechoslovakia now it's Czech Republic and something Slovakia yeah so there is the name of the place Moravsi right butchered it anyway. And there's a, I don't know if that's a signature or if that's what it is on there, but it was 80 cents. And it's a, adorable salt dough, salt and flour dough ornament. Okay, I say cute, but they are kind of creepy. Like they're staring into your soul. Anyway, um, it has a fabric background, background, it has a fabric backing, um, and this little hanging ribbon, and I, I'm assuming by the quality of it, not what it's made of, but how well it's 
put together and decorated that it's a souvenir piece. But I just had to give it a shot. I can't find anything like it. I, I have no idea. Kind of like fetishes. Not that kind of fetish. Well, animals. But they're made in Mexico, so I don't know if they would actually be considered fetishes or just carved stone. I don't know. And it kind of looks like it's a polar bear, but it's a frog. See, there's frog butt. I paid $2 for that one because it was bigger, but in my opinion, this little one for $1.50 is cuter. Um, but it doesn't have a Mexico tag like the other one does. So he's got more detail and coloring on him. And he was a buck fifty. There's another word for these, and I can't think of what it is. So, if you know what it is, if you could tell me, that would be great. I passed this up a few times. It is a ladle rest, as opposed to a spoon rest, because it's gigantic, with this little angel on it. And I was like, eh, I don't know. A spoon rest, like I said, do okay. Um, but this is made in Italy. Yeah, I can't find it anywhere. And to be honest, it's not the greatest painting. And it almost looks like it's done with um, watercolor marker or something. So it may not be worth much of anything. But I just like the size of it. You know, a serving spoon or a ladle. I mean, that's that's pretty big. I mean, where's that other one? So you can compare them. I mean, yeah. If someone wants a really big one for their ladle, like if they're doing a lot of soups, <sighs> it's a nice size. And, you know, more like at Christmas time, I guess. Here's something else I wanted to share with you. Are these little tiny open salts? Now I would have not known what these were. I would have thought they were huge drinking glasses for rats or something, <laughs> because they look like little glasses at the pedestal, but they're really, really fancy inside, right? And they're kind of cute, <clears throat> almost like Greek or Egyptian. See, I'm clueless, but it makes me think like. With this, this, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I would not have known what these were until watching Crazy Link Lady. Um, but these are open salts. There were four of them. I am Butterfingers to begin with, and I, in the last year, have developed arthritis because I'm old. In fact, I don't, you can't really see it, but my finger is, there you go, my finger is freaking, isn't that creepy? Anyway, um, now, some people can do that on purpose. I can't straighten it. Anyway, um, there were four of these. One of them wasn't my fault. <laughs> I got it home and realized there was a chip on it. And I'm like, Dang it. And then, I don't know what happened? I really don't. Maybe it wasn't my fault, but chances are really high that it was. <laughs> I go to unwrap them, and one is just dust in the bag. Like, did I just look at it and it died? Or <laughs> So now there's two, but luckily that happened before I posted them so there's just two posted on eBay right now but they're gonna sell even if they'd sell for only $9.99 they're gonna sell so yay! Oh! I forgot something! I found out that this is a nappy dish or a nappy bowl I thought nappy dishes were just the little porcelain dishes with the fancy handle Nope, this is a nappy dish too. I have no idea what this pattern is. So if you all know, I know this is uh, sawtooth edge right here, but it's like sawtooth the entire way around and there's no sawtooth pattern. 
So, and it's pointy. And I would hate to get hit with this because it would do damage. But I love the green. I don't think it's uranium. I don't think it glows or anything. But it's pretty. I'm holding it down here. Like, mm, like you can see anything below my... Anyway, that's on purpose. But I thought that was kind of neat. I just can't find another one like it. Seems to be my M.O. I wish that meant they were rare and worth a lot of money, but they don't ever seem to be. Okay, so this next thing I had to turn the camera around for. This baby blanket seems like a beautiful little innocent, nothing special blanket. Until you look at the other side. Look at that! Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, somebody paid money to have this made on Etsy, probably. So it's fuzzy with the satin edge, and then BAM on the other side. And not only did I get this, but I got this too. This is for when you're out and about. Ah! I'm doing this one-handed, y'all, sorry. And then you have... Wow, I could do this so much cleaner, but no, it's me. You got this changing pad that when you open it up, down here has two pockets for diapers and wipes. Isn't that nice? Yeah, and I got this. You ready for it? Two fifty. Two dollars and fifty cents. Somebody is going to love these. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't. So yeah, I had to show you those. So that's what I'm showing today. My little show and tell, if you will. Um, if you have any input, insight, or background information that you have to share on these items, feel free to leave them in the comment section below if you're interested in any of them. I'm going to actually link my Mercari and my eBay below. Um, some of these are already posted, most of them are not, but I am slowly getting things on eBay, but mm, if anything's posted, it's on Mercari. So if you're interested, either buy it there or you can message me. If do you want something specific you didn't you don't see posted okay that was a ramble that was a big ramble